one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And notice how the number 10 is written. We have a 1 first and then a 0. So 10 is our first two digit number. It's made from two digits. We have the 1 first and then we have the 0. Now we can push these 10 blocks together so that we've got one line of 10 blocks and none left over like this. Now this will help us to understand how the rest of the numbers to 20 are written. So after 10 we have 11. Now that's written with two digits, it's written with the digits 1, 1. And the reason for that is that if we push 10 of these blocks together, so we like to make a line of 10, that first one, the one in yellow, tells us that we've made one line. And then the next one tells us that we've got one left over. Next we have 12. Now why do you think we write the number 12 with the digits 1, 2? Well, we can push 10 blocks together to make a line, and then we've got two left over. So that's why we have the digits one, because we've made one line, and two, because we've got two left over. Next is 13, and as you can see, we write 13 as one, three, because we can make one line of 10, and three left over. So 13 is easy to remember because th sounds a bit like 3 and teen always tells us if we've got teen at the end of a number that always tells us that we can make one group of 10 from it. 14 so one line of 10 and 4 left over. 15 that's one line of 10, one 10, and five left over. 16, one 10, and six left over. 17, and I expect you can tell me why we write the number 17 with a one and then a seven. That's because we can make one line of 10 and then seven left over. 18, one 10 and eight left over. Now you're probably getting the hang of this. So let me tell you, we have a special word for the ones left over. We call them units. So the number 18 is a two-digit number. It has the digits 1 and 8. And the 1 tells us that we have 110. The 8 tells us that we have 8 blocks left over once we've made our line of 10. So we have 8 units. So the digits 1, 8, 1, 10, and 8 units. 19. And when we make the number 19, we can make one group of 10. And how many units? We have nine units, because we have nine left over. Now we have the number 20. And we write the number 20 in numerals as 2, 0. Now why do you think we write the number 20, 2, 0? Well, remember, when we can, we like to make a line of 10 or a group of 10. Well, the number 20 is a special number because we can make one line of 10, 
like this. But now look, we have 10 left over, so we can make another line of 10 like this. So now we've made two lines of 10 and we have nothing left over. We don't have any units. So we write the number 20 with a 2 to tell us that we have two 10s and a 0 to show that when we've made our two lines of 10, we don't have anything left over. We don't have any units. So now let's practice counting all the way from 1 to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20.